Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel, Cover to Cover. So if you are brand new to my channel, hey, hi, welcome. Um, thanks for watching. If you want, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, that way, you know, we can talk books together and, you know, talk life together. This is not your first time on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back. Um, so today is a very exciting day for me. This, is, this will be my first time um, getting book box subscriptions. And what I really want to do for today's video is do a nice little battle um, of two of the boxes that I've received so far. And those boxes would be, we have Book Box Club and we have Lit Joy Crate. So I bought these boxes because I wanted to give them a try before signing up for multiple months of membership. Um, so I bought some of their past boxes. So we're just going to see what's in them, if the stuff's any good, um, and if it's worth spending the money every month because, you know, I don't want to waste my money, but I know that you guys don't either. We should just get into it, right? <laughs> if you're just as excited as I am to see what's in these boxes, keep watching because we're going to get into it right now. Okay, guys, so the first box that we're going to be opening is going to be the book box club so this is my first time ever getting their box um, it's their first time being unboxed on my channel so just a little background information for you guys this is a UK based um, company so that means that your shipping cost is ridiculous like <laughs> I'll give you a rundown of what this box would cost you if you live in the US every month or if they're shipping internationally at least to the US, it's a little ridiculous. So in total, this box cost me 48 pounds and 49 pence. That means that in US dollars, I spent $67 for this box. Imagine having to do that every month. <laughs> um, so, I mean, if you want a breakdown of what this box would cost you, $40 just for this box. And then you need to add the shipping on top of it, which is 19 pounds. So I'm almost paying just as much in shipping to get this box every month that I would be to get the box. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all up to your budget. It's up to what you want. I got it to try it and to show you guys what Book Box Club can offer. Um, so let's see what we have. This is the September 2020 box. Ooh, so let's give a little sneak peek. Very cute. So right on top we have the spoiler card. And the September 2020 theme was Once Upon a Story. Okay, so there's a lot of paper wormies. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of stick them over here. So we can really get into it. <gasps> oh, okay. So the first thing I'm seeing, I'm so excited about because I love enamel pins. I love them. I love that they come in these boxes. It is very pretty, very cute. It says Orin enamel pin. I love it. It is so pretty. So we have a little blue snake and a pink snake sort of entwined. Um, let's use the spoiler card and see what this is from because I honestly don't know. The enamel pin is by Book Box Club um, and it says, known to protect its wearer from harm, the Orin is the powerful medallion at the heart of the never-ending story. Wear yours with pride, whether you're on a magical mission to the land of Fantasia or just popping to the shop to stock up on reading supplies very cute. I love this pin and I'm so happy to be able to add this pin to my collection. It's just so pretty. The next thing I'm seeing, so it looks like a headscarf. This is what it looks like in the package. It's a really pretty color. I really like this pink. 
That seems to be the theme in this box is like this really nice light pink peachy color. Oh, okay, that's what that is. I thought this was printed on the scarf. So it actually gives you like a whole bunch of ways that you can wear it. So it's definitely like a head scarf, a head piece. I'm really excited because I'm loving all these words. Can you guys see that? So let's see some things that are written on it. We have Happily Ever After. Here's a little book that says Once Upon a Time. So it's like a little fairy tale headscarf. Now that I'm sufficiently happy um, with two items. <laughs> I already feel like this box was worth the money that I spent. I just don't know that I would spend that much every month. Oh my gosh, they're calling it a fairy tale snood. <laughs> okay, so this snood, this was made by Rachel Preshy. Moving on to our next item. It's another, it kind of, this next thing kind of looks like a scarf also. Oh, something fell out of it. Okay. So let's see what this is. Is this a pillowcase? Oh my gosh, we got a pillowcase. It's definitely like story inspired because here we have a castle. There's like Aladdin's lamp, I'm guessing. Cinderella's shoe, um, Snow White's apple. Um, we have Belle's rose. This is so pretty. This would be really cute in like a little girl's room. Um, I don't actually know that I will use this in my house. I feel like this might be a really nice present for one of my nieces um, who are way young and love all things princess, but I think it's so pretty. It's such a cute little design. Fairy Tales Cushion Cover, um, and it's by Sparrow and Wolf. Thank you, because it's very pretty. Let's move on to the next item. This is like so cute. Oh my goodness. So this is a weekly book planner. It has all this different stuff on it. So it says like, you can put like the week of what, what week it is. And then you can do your mood, pages that you've read, um, hours spent reading, which mine would be like a million. Literally, it would be like hundreds of hours in a week. And then it says the number of books that you've read. Um, down here, it's like books that you are reading and then you can give them little rates. That's so cute. And then over here, you can write your favorite quotes. I'm just checking if it has any different pages. Okay. Oh, okay. And then it, down here, you can put like books that you want to read. This can be your TBR over here. So I really like this. I don't know that I'll use it just because I actually have like a whole planner for reading, a whole reading planner um, that's a little bit more than this. I need the whole year <laughs> to be able to plan out my reading and, you know, keep my TBR in check. Like, this is not big enough for my TBR. <laughs> um, so they're calling it the Bookish Planner Pad, and it is by The Toil. Okay. So the next and the last thing that I'm seeing in this box before we get to the book is, is a candle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It says, no place like home. It's very cute. I love that they put this little ribbon around the top, but let's give it a sniff. Let's see if it actually smells as good as it looks. Okay, so I like the smell. Like I think it's it's kind of fruity, but it also kind of smells like Macy's perfume. <laughs> like if I go into a Macy's, this is what I think I would smell. Um, like people just ch -ch 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 spraying their perfume all over the place when they're like trying it out at the counter. I don't not like it. Um, it's just a little strong for me. One thing y'all should probably know about me. I love glitter. I love glitter. Oh, my dog's getting comfy. Um, so yeah, I think this candle is like a great addition to this box. And I love that they called it No Place Like Home. 
very very cute so they're calling it the ruby slippers candle so cute because it's like pink and red <laughs> and it is by bookworm candles hey guys so as i was editing this video i realized that my camera died and the part um with the book box club box where i reviewed the book did not get recorded so i'm just gonna give you a little bit of an overview of the book so you're not like wow she skipped the book completely so the september 2020 book box club chosen book of the month was a tale of two worlds by mitchell faber it's either mitchell or michael <laughs> So this is what the front looks like. I love this design. Look at this really, really, really beautiful foil. I like it a lot. Um, here we have the spine, which is cute in and of itself. And then here is the back. So this should be a signed copy, which I already know that it is because I looked at it yesterday. <laughs> so here I stuck the book plate in the book. So. It is now a signed copy, and I'll go ahead and read the tiny description that they give. You'll know if you'll, if you'll want to read this or not. So here we go. Dehilko gazed through the doorway at the world beyond. This was her last opportunity to run back to safety. She thought about it, but only for a moment. An adventure was waiting for her. It all starts on the morning the letter D disappears from the language. It vanishes from her parents' conversation at breakfast, then from the road signs outside, and from her school dinners. Soon the local dentist and the neighbor's Dalmatian are missing, and even the donkey derby has been called off. Though she doesn't know why, Tehilko is summoned to the home of her old history teacher, Professor Daughterfield, and his faithful Labrador, Nellie Robinson. And this is where our story really begins. Set between England and the wintry land of Liminus, a world enslaved by the monstrous Gamp and populated by fearsome, enchanting creatures, D, A Tale of Two Worlds, is a mesmerizing tale of friendship and bravery in an uncertain world. So, I think this book sounds really cool. Um, it's not something that I hear a lot of, like a letter disappearing and, you know, all the stuff that seems to go into this book I don't hear often. So I'm excited to add this to my TBR. Um, I'm not going to like bump it up to the top or anything, but it's going to be on my TBR. Um, so I'm really excited to read it. And, you know, if you guys want to check this book out, A Tale of Two Worlds, Mitchell Faber. Mitchell or Michael, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so now that I went ahead and showed you this book, let's jump back into the original video because we're about to jump into the Lipjoy crate. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump into the second box um, and we're gonna see which one of the boxes, um, Book Box Club or Lipjoy crate was the winner um, in this book box battle. So let's jump right into Lipjoy crate. I'll give you a little bit of a rundown for this box, just like I did for the Book Box Club. So this box that I'm holding is their winter 2021 box. Um, so Lit Joy Crate is not a monthly subscription box. It's every three months, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I mean, at least you know that this one, like you don't have to pay every month for it. Um, you get it every three months. You only pay once every three months, um, which is kind of nice, I guess. So it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a wallet reprieve <laughs> um you know to get your funds back up so you can buy more book box subscriptions so i'll just give you a little bit of a rundown on lit joy crate costs so for this box i paid 34 dollars and 99 cents um and for shipping i paid 11 dollars and 32 cents so in total for just this box i paid 46 dollars and 31 cents and i do have to say that lit joy crate like at 46 dollars seems to be one of the more expensive um, subscription boxes that you can get so i guess it's kind of a good thing that it's only every three months this box is like i mean it's pretty heavy like it's pretty heavy so i'm kind of excited to see what's in here like 
it's probably just the book making it heavy, but <laughs> I'm excited to see what is in this box. So let's open her up. Okay, um, we'll give a little, whoop, take that out. <laughs> we'll give a little bit of a sneak peek. This box is so cute. So it looks like the winter 2021 theme was Journey to Belong. So the first thing I'm seeing is, it is a candle. Okay, so it's a really cute candle. Here it is. And on the front it says dust and shadows. And then it says snow, fresh air, um, bergamot. I have no idea what that is. Bergamot and apple. Made exclusively for Lit Joy Crate by Novelly Yours Candles. This is really cute. Um, let's open her up and give it a sniff. Okay, I really like that. Here you guys can see the inside. Guess what? It has glitter. <laughs> so it is very nice. It. I really like the smell of this. Like I'm getting beach vibes and... It's funny because that definitely fits with our theme, like, especially when I'm seeing pirates and pirate ships, I'm thinking, like, the ocean, so I'm thinking beach and the ocean. I miss traveling. <laughs> I'm just gonna sniff this candle and pretend I'm at the beach. Dang you, COVID. <laughs> I automatically really like this candle, um, and I love the smell of it, like, not to be mean, but I kind of like the smell of the Lit Joy candle more than I like the smell of the Book Box Club candle. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. Let's move on to the next item. We have a little brown box and it says Lit Joy Crate. So let's open it up. Oh my god, it's a little teacup! Oh my god, it's a teacup. It's a literal teacup. Oh, and it's so pretty. So it's definitely a London-based book or fandom that this is from because it has Big Ben all over the place and the London Eye. It has, um, let's see, one, two, three different figures on it. Um, and on the bottom it just says Lit Joy Crate. It is a little dusty. I'm probably, well, I'm going to wash it anyway, but there's a little dust in there. <laughs> but I automatically love this so much just because, look how cute. <laughs> it's a little teacup. <laughs> this teacup is a darker shade of magic, um, which I haven't read. It is on my TBR. I will get to it, I promise. But I haven't read it yet which is why I probably didn't recognize this off uh, first glance. On our mini teacup, inspired by a darker shade of magic, the red, black, white, and gray design by Nara Feather highlights the characters and different worlds from the book. So it's definitely great quality, and I'm in love with it. Like, this is just perfect. So let's keep going before I like die from this awesome box. Um, let's see, okay, so the next thing I'm seeing is another brown box, um, which the last brown box had a freaking teacup in it. So I have high hopes for this little brown box. This is the little saucer, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my goodness, a little saucer and a teacup. You get both! Okay, ooh. So it says, um, for the ones who dream of stranger worlds. And it is very nice. And it's definitely the same thing, obviously, because they go together. And they're a little teacup set. <laughs> a little teacup set. Okay, before I freak out, let's keep going. The next thing I'm seeing is a chopstick. Oh. Guys, this is Bridgerton. This is Bridgerton. This is Bridgerton. I love Bridgerton. <laughs> oh, I read the book. I watched the show. I love Bridgerton. 
So here we have this little tiny chapstick. Oh my god, it's so cute. And it says Lady Whistledown's Society Papers. And it says that it's lemonade. How do I open it? Lemonade. Let's see. That smells exactly like lemonade. Holy crap. That smells really nice. Let's see. I'm going to put it on. So I am very excited to be getting a little bit of a chapstick because with the weather changing and everything, my lips have been so dry. So this is going to be amazing. Um, it's going to help me out a lot. And I love that it says that it's lemonade and it literally smells like lemonade. All I'm smelling right now is lemonade. I'm loving it. <laughs> And I just love that it's Bridgerton. I love that it's Bridgerton. I love that they included a Bridgerton item, which gets me even more excited for this book. Like, you have no idea. Let me tell you who made this. I'm seeing this little, like, ring of tape. It's like a ring of tape, little tapies, and it's covered in these nice little umbrellas. Hmm. I mean, it's cute. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. Um, I'm sure I'll need tape at some point. So let's see what this is from because I'm curious. So this is from the Umbrella Academy. So I've never watched Umbrella Academy. Um, this is Umbrella Academy washi tape, which I don't really know what that means. Very cute. I'm sure I'll use it at some point. Let's move on. Okay, next we have a little white box and this is like pretty heavy. So I'm kind of curious as to what this is gonna be. It says Creswell and Wadsworth investigation with a skull and roses. It's a manicure set. Like, nice quality metal manicure set. I'm a little shook right now that I get like a whole manicure set. It says, Stalking Jack the Ripper manicure set. Definitely never heard of that. <laughs> Designed by in -house. Oh, designed in-house by LitJoy exclusively. Well, I love this item because it is definitely a nice little usable thing, um, which makes me very happy, and I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of this. Let's see what else we have because, yes, we are still going. There is a lot in this box. Okay, so the next thing I'm seeing is a nice big flat brown box. What is this? Is this a frying pan? No freaking way. No freaking way. Y'all, it's a frying pan. It's a little mini frying pan. And it says frying pans. Who knew, right? This is from Rapunzel. This is from Tangled. Oh, Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess. My favorite Disney princess. I love her. I love Flynn Rider. This is a tangled little mini frying pan with a Flynn Rider quote. I love this frying pan. <laughs> I love this frying pan. Oh my goodness. This is definitely my favorite item. I'm sorry, but like this beats the little teacup. Rest your spoons while cooking and tasting on this cute black ceramic mini frying pan or leave it out for an adorable display. There's no way I'm putting a spoon on this. <laughs> this will be displayed on my bookshelf. <sighs> okay, so now that I'm going to stop fangirling over this little frying pan, um, let's get to our final thing in the box, which is... Oh, it's not the final thing. Okay, there were things underneath the book. 
let's look at those before we look at the book. What I'm seeing is this amazing art print. Like that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. I have no idea what this is, but it's also our letter from the author, which is another thing that I love that you get in these subscription boxes are the author letters. I personally will be sticking this directly into the book and keeping it there forever and always <laughs> because I just love that personal touch, like feeling that connection to the author and to the book at the same time. Let's go to the last thing I see in here before we get to the book. The last thing I see are these literally adorable little, what are these even called? Like photo booth reel photos? I'm guessing that it's supposed to be like a bookmark. Um, let's see. Oh, there, okay. So there are two of these. Okay, so there are two of these. And they're literally so cute, but I have no idea what this is from. <laughs> So let's see, this is the first one here. Very adorable. Um, it was designed by Sarah Conradson on the back. And it, you know, it just says Lit Joy Crate on the back. Um, and then this is our second one. Looks like a little bit of LGBTQ love, which I love this representation in this box. Um, and then this one was also designed by Sarah Conradson. It's our favorite group of shadow hunters. Oh, okay. See, I've never seen shadow hunters. It's on my to watch list. I'm sorry. I'm so behind. I work a full time job. Um, the artwork for this beautiful photo, photo strip collection is created by independent artist Sarah Conradson. We chose Sarah because her design perfectly captures the concept of photo strips but I think these are so cute. And I love that they were like a little, a little like surprise underneath the book in the box. Like the minute you think you're out of items, boom, there's another item and boom, there's another item. <laughs> like, it was just very exciting for me to see these underneath this book. Finally, last but absolutely not least, because this is the whole reason that we buy these boxes to begin with, we have the book. Let's get to this book. I think I already know what it is based on all the mentions in the spoiler book, um, but I'm excited because it's not something that I own. So the book for winter 2021 is called This Golden Flame. And here you can see the um, Lit Joy Crate exclusive cover, which I think is very, very pretty. It's exactly like something that I would gravitate towards on a shelf. Um, so here we have the front the spine and the back. Um, let's see what it looks like without the cover. Okay, so we just have a red, red, brown. It's kind of like a reddish brown. Okay, we have like a red brown book um, with gold lettering on the spine. Um, and this should be signed by the author. So let's check here's the page signed by the author very cute love that it's signed you guys know i love a signed book we have sprayed edges guys look at the red sprayed edges of this book i am shook mm. the books and like the ex the exclusivity of the books in these crates are the reason that i want these crates like, the goodies are amazing to me, and I love being able to add them to, like, my fandoms and things that I'm obsessed with within the book world. But, like, the books, having them signed, like, sprayed edges, and then the exclusive covers, those are what I'm interested in. So, I'm loving this one. Like, loving this Lit Joy Crate book. The other thing about Lit Joy Crate is that they do include an exclusive, um dust jacket cover art so let's just take a look at this really quick wow okay so this is very detailed very involved look at that oh my goodness how beautiful is this this is why i want the covers this is why i want the exclusive books okay 
So let's take a look at what this book's going to be about. Um, okay. Orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother, long ago shipped away. But family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium, whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automaton army. In her search for her brother, Karis does the seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automaton. Intelligent with, the, with a conscience of its own, Alex has no idea why he was made, or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis, it's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother, and the secret that's held her country in its power for centuries. Y'all. Y'all. This book. I'm gonna love this book. This one might just like jump up my TBR just a little bit. My favorite item in the LitJoy Crate um, Winter 2021 box is absolutely this Rapunzel frying pan. I love it. My least favorite item is gonna have to be the Umbrella Academy washi tape just because it just feels like tape. Everything else in this box I thought was literally amazing. Like, it's probably because I haven't watched this series that this doesn't really mean much to me. Because even this tiny little, like, lip balm that's Bridgerton means something to me because it's Bridgerton. But, so yeah, this washi tape is my least favorite item. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite item in the 2021 Winter Lit Joy Crate box. What was your least favorite item? What was your favorite? So the next theme for Lit Joy Crate Summer 2021 is Wishes and Curses. Ooh. It seems like something I'm going to love. So <laughs> I'm very excited that I'm subscribed to Lit Joy Crate and that I will be getting the, the Wishes and Curses Summer box. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this Lit Joy Crate a big old whopping 9 because it was just amazing to me. Like from the artwork to the frying pan to the manicure set to the teacup and the saucer all the way to the amazing book, Lit Joy Crate is the winner of this video. I'm so sorry, Book Box Club. I love the effort. And I love all of the items that you gave me. But Lit Joy Crate really did it. Lit Joy Crate did an amazing job. So Lit Joy Crate is the winner. So guys, that is it. That's everything I have for you. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, go ahead, subscribe. And, you know, if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys again. So thanks for watching cover to cover. Bye guys.